everybody. Happy Wednesday. How's everybody doing? I love Wednesday. <laughs> Does anyone else feel that way? I don't know. I always like get a little mini. Um, I don't know. It's almost like the day before a holiday or something where you get like excited to see what's coming the next day. Really early on in the updates, usually like now when we have new premium shop stuff coming every week. It's so exciting. I just I, I live for it. I love it. Hi, Polar Gaming. Little Wolfie, hello. How are you? Oh, you know what I need to do? Let me try to clean a little bit of stuff up while everyone trickles in because we got to work on our dream snap, but everything's still a mess from my last dream snap. Um, hi, Candia. Halfway through the work week. Yeah, that's another great thing about Wednesdays. Halfway through the work week, the weekend close enough to to taste almost. Uh, I don't know if this is this way or the other way. I also don't know if it matters. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Yana. Hi, Catherine. Hello. How's everyone doing? I think I'm going to turn this this way. I think I had the high side um, facing that way for all of them. You are not in line. What? Mushroom? Okay. Anyway. Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah. How did everybody do on Dream Snaps? I want to hear how everyone did. Vela, hi. Is it Xerxes? Hello, how are you? Christina, hi. Okay, where do I actually need to go to clean? I think probably the meadow, because I think we're going to try to do a meadow build for Dream Snaps this week. I think that's going to work. Hi, Lucy. Candia, you do look forward to new things. The new things are so fun. I just love it. I, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, always excited. And this week, the premium shop is great, I think. What does everyone else think about the premium shop? I want to hear everybody's opinions about everything, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, you're on a 600 streak. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, hi, Tara, Nina, Ash. Hello, Cole. Hello. You got 900 for the second week now. Yeah, I was in a major Dream Snaps slump. A few weeks back, but last week and this week I got 4,000 Moonstones, so I'm very pleased. A little surprised because I feel like, well, um, I was happy with my dream snap for the Safari. Wait, what was it called? Savannah style. I think that's what it was called. I liked it, but I didn't think it was anything revolutionary. You got 1,500, 1,500. 1200 yeah all solid you got 4000 you're so happy because you worked so hard amazing bug life you got 2500 congratulations that's fabulous hi kitty i'm doing great i'm doing wonderfully having a good day i was uh i always listen to music right before stream because some kind of audio has to be filtering through obs otherwise YouTube gets streamer stuff. Anyway, there has to be something playing um, with audio constantly, even before stream starts. Otherwise, things get really wacky. So I'm always like jamming out to music beforehand. And I was just bopping along <laughs> more enthusiastically than usual. I was just uh, really feeling it today. You're still pending your rewards for Dream Snaps. Really? It's been several hours. You're not able to play until later, so you're not sure about your dream snap yet. But you never do very good on outfit challenges. The outfit challenges tend to be a bit tricky, I think. I never know how I'm going to do on them. Hi, Jamie. Hello, hello. You have no idea how you did. Haven't played yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, wait. I j really just want to... Yes, get rid of this. You bought the new house today and placed it in the Forgotten Lands? Okay, okay. So... I want to look at the things. Obviously, I am wearing this backpack with the cute little fox. It's so adorable. I even usually on Dream Snap days, I just wear whatever I was wearing before or I wear like a generic Dream Snaps outfit. But after seeing this backpack, I needed to put on an outfit that I felt suited the backpack. So this is the fit that we're running around in right now. I'm obsessed with this fox. But um, what else? I think I also have the little um, lovebird. Yeah following me around and I changed Anna into the dream style let me go to the shop I changed Anna into the dream style but I haven't actually tracked her down to look at her yet 
and I haven't placed this castle yet. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like we're going to try to use this castle for our dream snap this week. And I need to see it up close and personal. I, I want to see what it looks like. But also I need to find Anna so we can look at her. Just from the shop page, I feel like, listen, this is probably the most unpopular opinion I've ever had in my life. I feel like just from the shop page, I'm probably going to prefer her default style. She just looks very, very young in her Frozen 1 adventuring outfit. I don't think and I don't know. I like my Anna looking grown and capable. Hi, Michelle. You got 4K and 1200. Nice, nice. Yeah, I definitely recommend if you just opened your game and it says it's processing for you, try closing out your game completely and opening it again. Sometimes that helps. Ooh, not the clipping. <laughs> Her skirt is invisible. Anyway, besides that, uh, it's cute. It's a very cute dream style. I will say that she does look five to seven years younger than she does in her other dream style. But now she and Elsa can match for a little bit. Both rock their cute little Frozen 1 looks. What a perfect day. Oh. It's very cute. The little white streak in the hair. It's adorable. I like it. The castle drops rose petals. Ooh, okay. I think I want to go... Um, I'm going to place the castle up here to look at it first, I think. But we're eventually going to drop it in the meadow because I, I have an idea. We're going to see how well it comes to fruition. We're going to be working on dream snaps today and I want to use the castle. Um, What was that one dream snap? Dapper Delights. How do these names just stick in my head sometimes? I don't know. Remember the Dapper Delights dream, uh, dream snap theme from ages and ages ago? Uh, If you were around the channel at that point in time. I kind of want to do something sort of similar to that dream snap, but obviously different. It's just going to have a similar vibe. You're considering buying the fox bag. It's so cute, but you don't have a lot of moonstones. It will be back if you're not able to get it now. Um, This castle is gorgeous. I still hate that we can't move the camera in design mode more. We used to be able to. I'm mostly certain. It's very detailed, very pretty. I love the heart bushes. Those are super cute. And I love, okay, okay. I did see this, um, someone's video maybe. It has a door on the side that you can go in. This is probably my favorite thing ever. I like the concept of a door in the back of the house, but all of my designing usually makes it so that those doors are never accessible but i feel like having a side door is going to be so much more accessible i'm going to use it so much more often you also prefer the older anna yeah i like it you like the delusion of a younger easier time i mean well i like that in my life but <laughs> but i feel like anna has had such an arc of growth in the two movies that i feel like her current outfit feels more like the queen that she is. The more developed character. This is still adorable, though. She looks super cute by this house, actually. Okay, love the house. I'm a little bit obsessed with it. We're going to move it down to the meadow, though. The smoke that comes out of the chimney is a heart. I know, it's so cute. Heart of Winter, welcome in. How are you? First time catching a live. You play with the vids in the background every day? That's so sweet. Thank you. I'm happy that you were able to make it. Um, This does, in fact, look pretty cute with Minnie's house, which was something that I anticipated. Oh, so cute. Adorable. Uh, Ash, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Welcome in. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Okay, where do I want to put this? Hmm. I don't have a locale and I also don't know if it matters. Uh, I might actually put it like, oh, the footprint, the footprint, the footprint is very annoying. 
I might put it right here or something. Everyone's going to have to bear with me because I'm going to have to workshop this a little bit, but eventually we're going to end up with something good. I know it. I can feel it in my spirit. Maybe here. You like that you can make the side door like the main door if you don't like the front one as much? Exactly. Yeah, you can also just switch the house direction for sure. You love the main design of the house, but would prefer less heart details. I feel like the heart details are... I mean, I feel like they wanted it to be over the top heart themed and it dropping now early March, I feel doesn't have the effect that they intended because I really feel in my soul that this update was supposed to drop right before or on Valentine's Day. So it would have made a lot more sense contextually to have this house with all of the hearts. And I don't mind it. I like when we get buildings that are more. Um, what's the word I want to use? More. Neutral in terms of style, but I also really enjoy getting the more over the top houses because I feel like that's just so Disney. I think I want to do this picture with um, the companion I want to be. Oh, wait, let me pull up Dream Snaps first, because if anybody hasn't looked yet. You may not know what we're doing today. Um, it's called Fur Feather Scales. It's an outfit challenge. Let me write down the tags. Um, fur feathers or scales. Create an outfit inspired by your favorite pet in the valley. And let me just say, I think this is adorable. I love the pet themed Dream Snaps. However, um... Hmm, what do I mean? <laughs> I feel like we don't quite have the wardrobe options to make this really, really amazing. But we're going to do what we can. Uh, we need cute items, playful items, and casual and familiar. Okay, I'm writing this down so I don't have to keep navigating back to this menu. Hi, Lauren. Hello. How's it going? You love all the stuff in the premium shop this week. It's a good one. I think the premium shop this week is really good. It's really good. I'm a fan. Um, I want to use the Star Path Turtle, I think. For this stream snap. It's pink. It's cute. We got this cute pink house that we can work with now to make just a cute little set. Just do a number. Um, why am I using this keyboard? The only thing is that this turtle actually is gigantic. And when we hold it, you won't really be able to see the outfit that much. That being said, I feel like, ooh, we might be able to wear like a dress or something where not seeing the out like the whole outfit doesn't matter as much i don't know my other thing that i was thinking was doing one of the sunbirds but just putting critter houses around so all of the birds are flying everywhere i was thinking tropical i was thinking quite quite frankly um the tiki room that was the inspo but i, I kind of want to make this this turtle work Hi, Nikki. Hello, hello. Uh, you like the side view a lot better. It's more Victorian mansion looking, which you love. I like the side view. I think wherever I put it, I will use the front as the main space, but I will do like a nice uh, yard, like bush lined yard <laughs> or something or gazebo moment in the side that we can also go through. I think that would work. Let me actually look at our clothing options and see what would work. I don't want to use these. Uh, I do want to take off some of the extraneous things that I don't want as we're working on this. We've def done a critter one before. Yeah, we had critter love. That was a decor challenge um, for that one. What did I do? I did a Sleeping Beauty inspired one with the scary squirrel. 
And then I had, what was it? All of the, um, what are they called? Ethereal, like spectral blue and pink critters flying around. I can't remember what they're called. Um, you know what? Just do this. All and we need. There was one in the fall that was critter oriented, you want to say? It's possible. I don't remember that one specifically. Um, cute. No, I didn't scroll down far enough. Wait. Cute, playful. Casual and familiar. Let's just tag all of them. You're finding it hard to think of an idea for this week. I feel like, yeah, I think there are a lot of ideas of things that could work, but I feel like the outfit items we have are a little bit limiting. If that makes sense. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Love the overalls. Forget we have those sometimes. We also have the gentle rabbit. That could be kind of cute with a centennial vibe. Uh, Cheshire cat. Sweater. Hmm. You know what? Let me make something up and see how far off we would be in terms of tags and see if we could make it work whimsical yes thank you thank you we need rose bushes so bad i know i thought it when we first got um what was it oh what was it it was something last week it might have been the bookstore from the bell pack does that one have rose bushes attached to it i thought it then and i think it even more now also these are weird and like glowy Weird is maybe the wrong word for it, but even in the daytime, you can kind of see it. But I think if we turn it to nighttime, they actually do fully glow. Yeah, it's odd, but I kind of like it. Hi, potato. Hello, hello. Your game has been freezing on the loading screen. Interesting. Yeah, the game's been a bit odd for me since, since the update, but... We just try to persevere, I think. I do anyway. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it being weird, but I can try to um, just deal with it, I guess. Not the most fun most of the time. The messy bun counts for this week's stream snap. Nice. I'm probably not going to use it for... Um, for what I'm going for. But that's nice to know. It's kind of grown on me. I didn't initially like it very much. I love the back of it, but the front kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Something about, oh, you know what it is? I just thought of it. And I'm so sorry to everybody in advance because I'm going to say this and it's going like a few of you will understand. Um, it reminds me very much of like um, the bump it's. That were a thing in like the late 2000s. It's giving bump it, but you pull the bangs down. <laughs> oh no. Can't stand it. But you know what? <laughs> it's what it is. Uh, <laughs> you were hoping we got Beauty and the Beast. Or we would get the rose bushes with Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I was too. Eliana, this house is um, in the premium shop this week. I think it's called the Pink Castle. It's got hearts, beautiful detailing. It's very gorgeous. I think eventually it's going to live in my glade. But for now, we might use it for dream snaps. The bump it. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Liz, it's, it's a very specific thing. Um... I feel like you probably have to be in a certain age range to understand, but, uh, yeah. 
it was never exactly my vibe and yet I, I saw them very frequently very often is this water this is uh supposed to be cloud hair it was from um the wonder of pixar star path i think we got a bunch of elemental hairs we got a fire one um an earth one a water one and this like air one from the movie elemental it's a pretty cute hairstyle I don't think I've ever actually used it. Um, imagine tags. You saw someone wearing a bump it recently. Were they okay? <laughs> oh no! Can't rock the green glasses. Um. I need to try to make something happen because the one thing about dresses for outfit challenges is that I feel like then you automatically limit yourself in terms of things that suit tags or like fit tags. And that's a dangerous game to play. You regret not buying the game earlier now well the nice thing is that um dream snap or not dream snap star path items are gonna start filtering through the store now so they might come back it's very possible very pink earrings hmm is this one of the dresses where it will just like scoop off the bracelets if I wear them no it's fine it is fine wait not the what oh not the are they okay <laughs> I'm so sorry listen I love people <laughs> I just like I it's more like I don't know where you would even find them nowadays It's more like this person has either had this for 15 years or they went out of their way to purchase a bump it. I don't think they're <laughs> I don't think they're just everywhere. Yeah, where are the gloves? What about Oh. What if we just did like cute or something? I don't know. Sure, wear a ring. That works. Wait, is I love people what I said? <laughs> Can you wear pants under the dress like with skirts? Maybe. You very maybe can. Uh, Playful, cute. If I didn't lock my phone, I would be able to see what I need. Casual and familiar. Ah, uh, no, maybe shorts. You don't have the star path category? Wait, in the filters? Really? If you scroll all the way down? They just added it in this update. Um, cute. Casual, familiar, and playful. Shorts. Dress. You just finished your dream snap. You did a tropical theme on Dazzle Beach with Pua. Oh, that is so cute. I do love Pua. Also, hi, Charlotte. How are you? I do love Pua. It's such a shame. I think part of me doesn't really enjoy um, thinking about Pua because it makes me sad that we haven't had any other actual characters added. I really don't care what shoes I wear because you're not going to be able to see them if I wear this. So as long as it fits the tags, it's fine by me. There we go. The hair is giving cotton candy. George Washington. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I kind of love that. Cotton candy, George Washington. 
Indeed. I feel like wearing a backpack with this is um, blasphemy. Maybe we can do the wings, though. What are the chances that this will fit the categories? Too bad we don't have Hey Hey Chicken. Listen, imagine... I don't even want to speak this into existence. Imagine if now we have Pua, right? And for some reason, they decide to add Hey Hey, and the only character, like the only character critters that we have are Pua and Hey Hey. I would cry, but not in a good way. No, not enough cute items. This is a pain. Um, what if I, oh no, not that. Imagine buttons. Do we have any cute glasses that are not these? We're going to have to maybe... What about earrings? I feel distressed. Does anyone else feel that way sometimes? How do I feel about the tiny wings? I feel like I'm never going to use them ever. Um... Uh, they're wings. <laughs> they're indeed wings. Listen, I actually, I kind of hate looking at them like this when it's just the wings on the skin. Uh, the skin. Um, I will probably never actual, actually wear them. Um, but I don't have anything against them, I suppose. Look like Charlotte from Bridgerton. Listen, I've been told that I actually look like Charlotte from Bridgerton. And I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so in theory, well, not even in theory, in actuality, we would have enough tags for this. If we wanted to do a turtle moment, the only thing would be um, having our outfit on display enough considering it is indeed an outfit challenge. I hate these glasses. Can I take these off? Are these actually adding to any of our tags? Do you have anything that... Um... They look like hands. Wait, the wings? I don't feel that. Put on the monster ears? Absolutely not. Wait, the wings are atrocious, you think? Oh no. I was told by you, Kitty. I wasn't trying to, like, put you on blast, though. Wait, multiple people think the wings look like hands? Wait, I a little bit see it now. Oh, what does it remind me of? It reminds me of, like, the Grinch. With, like, the spindly little fingers. I, I do. I feel that. Um, test photo. Y'all, I haven't even finished one coffee today. I don't know why I'm in such rare form. Who is that in the back with the black hair? Wait, Maui? Okay, um, let's figure this out i need to figure out what camera angle would work i think maybe something like wait but you kind of want to see the front of the turtle don't you maybe something like this oh no What's the dream snap theme for this week? This week, it's an outfit challenge inspired by one of the critter, like your favorite critter. And I'm going off this cute little love turtle. And our hair matches. So I think I want to do this. I feel like we could make this work. Okay, I'm going to start actually putting some decorations down and we're going to make something happen. Oh, Vanessa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there's a dream bundle in the shop 
that you can buy where you turn Ursula into her human form. I need a gazebo for sure. I need a path. What do I need first and foremost? I think first and foremost, I need a path. And I think it needs to be fancy. I think we need to try to use the gem and opal one. With the gold border. If we're not going to use it for this house, when are we going to use it? Our hair matches. <laughs> well, yes. It's true. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, girl. Go back there. Hmm. I think we can just pull this straight across and accomplish what we need to accomplish. Yes. Is the pink house a new item in the premium shop? It is. It's a beautiful castle with lots of heart detailing, these beautiful rose bushes that are also shaped like hearts, which you can't really see right now because the game won't let me change the angle of the camera here. Um, it has a side door you can go through and a front door. It's really pretty and really detailed. I love the little balconies that they add. There's a little back balcony. There are a couple other houses that have balconies, and it makes me want to go out onto them and take a picture. Hi, Princess Luca. How are you? Oh, you know what I realized yesterday? I legitimately thought I had made something up completely, which isn't outside of the ordinary for me. I do sometimes make things up, but usually with Dreamlight Valley, I know what I'm talking about. Um, The... Tangled arch that we make with Rapunzel as part of her quest line, Rapunzel's art class banner. Tell me why you can only use it on Eternity Isle. This made me so confused and so sad because I kept trying to find it and I couldn't locate it because it was all the way down at the bottom saying it wasn't... Um able to be used here. So then I thought that I had just made it up and the thing that I was thinking about was Jax. You can use it, but only outside and only on Eternity Isle. You hate the new furniture mode camera? I also do. It's not my favorite. I kind of want to bring this path in tighter if I can. It might just look a little bit weird. Tell me why indeed. Wait, are you referencing Taylor Swift or do I just think everything is Taylor Swift? Not that Taylor Swift owns the phrase Tell Me Why as a song title. Could be talking about the Beatles. Almost looks like the Lady and the Tramp house because of the Victorian style. I don't remember what the Lady and the Tramp house looks like. You'd love to put this in the forest with your little village you were creating with Gaston's house in the new library but no idea how it's going to fit. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to end up putting it with these houses, probably. Although now thinking about it with the sweet house makes me a little sad. Uh, it deserves better. And I'm not going to be able to look at it next to it because my glade is a mess. Well, we'll check it out later. Um, can I pull out a gazebo? Because of the road bushes, you got painting the roses red on repeat in your brain. Fair, fair. Speaking of Wonderland, actually, um, the new Descendants movie is coming to Disney Plus eventually, and they just released a teaser trailer for it. Um... I knew it was coming, but I didn't know anything about it. And... Apparently Wonderland characters are a thing in the new Descendants film, so that's kind of cool. Uh, no, not you. How about you? Everything is Taylor Swift. <laughs> 
I mean, for me, it a little bit is. In fact, right before stream, my sister tried to call me to talk about Taylor Swift theories, so. Kind of applicable to my life. Oh, I got you, Kitty. I got you. That's why I was surprised, because I know you don't really, like, mess with Taylor Swift like that. So I was surprised that you were going to be making a reference. Um, actually, ooh, this new pathing thing is also not my favorite change that was made in the update, but got to deal with it until they hopefully fix it. The wild thing is none of this is going to matter in two hours because I'm going to take all of this down. Okay. Hi, Rafi. How are you? Uh, oh, when you think of Tell Me Why, you think of one the one song from the Backstreet Boys. Fair. I feel like usually if I see something with music notes by it, I usually think of... Wait, is that song called Tell Me Why? Hmm. This is why sometimes I don't feel like a millennial. <laughs> because why do I not actually know what that song is called? Um, photo mode. Turn to the side, my friend. Oh, no, I keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. I need to figure out what is going to be in this picture and how I'm supposed to angle myself. I need something to map this out. It's it's all a lot happening, and my attention span is not 100% there today. It's simply the way that it is. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, I think I'm actually going to want this angle. I might move a little bit further away from the... from the house. There will be no explanation, just reputation TV. Maybe. I don't know. At this point, <laughs> at this point, I'm not so sure. Uh, okay, I need to get rid of this. We're going to stand on this spot. We're going to uh, get rid of all of this because we're not going to use it. We're going to move the gazebo because never needed it. And I'm going to move this back this way. Heart House is probably going to stay in storage when and if you get it. It's definitely a very specific style, so I can understand why some people would feel that way. I'm going to try to make it work. I really, my goal is to have every building, well, not every building, because we have some attractions that I know I'm not going to be able to fit in my valley, um, nor do I really want to, but my goal is to have every house skin out in my valley at all times. So I'm really fighting to make that happen. Yet to see if it's actually going to work or not. What do these look like? Kind of exactly the same as the meadow ones. Oh, it's I want it that way. Okay. That makes sense. Hi, Amanda. Okay, we need bushes. We're probably going to need flowers. Um, these ones? Yeah, with the purple and the pink. It's going to work. They're my go-to flowers. And we're going to need... Hmm. How would the Cinderella bench look here? Oh, another thing. You all can't see this right now. Um... If I go into my inventory, so I'm down to 11 million star coins. Now, that's a lot of star coins. However, it also means that I've spent 15 million star coins since we got the update because I have indeed been buying a thousand items from Scrooge. Who, who would have thought that that would actually happen? But it did to me. I need to actually start pumpkin farming again, which is a wild concept because I can't remember the last time I actually did that 
for money. Anyone else have an issue with the scroll wheel not working in the menus on PC? Oh, wait, like the furniture menu? I think I was just using it without any issues. But I never use it in the main menu of the game. Also probably going to need stuff back here because we're going to be able to see that. What if I brought the flower garden over here? Nope, not you. Not only 11 million. I know. It's mostly just a shock because it was more than half of my star coins that I spent. Oh, wait. I think this is new too. Sometimes if you drag the camera, it will still place the item instead of just letting you drag the camera. Very odd. Very odd. Very new. That didn't happen before. You go there. Same, you had 31 million coins and now you have 17 million. OK, I'm glad it's not just me because I looked at that yesterday after I bought out Scrooge's shop and I was appalled and astonished and I didn't understand how that had happened. But yeah, I'm happy that that you also have spent many millions of star coins since we got the update. Could probably actually use these purples too. Maybe. Um, let me move this. Anna, hello, how are you? Um Beerish? Beerish. If I line my hair up with the house. I've been actively buying 1,000 items every day. Not every day, but I did maybe like three days since the update. So many days. Like here-ish. Yeah, let me move that um, flower garden. We'll have some flowers up front somewhere. We'll toss some bushes if we can the only thing is that i don't know how well we can work with this house footprint i haven't experimented with it enough we'll do the best we can you called the beast flower garden house earlier wait what do you mean you're too broke to spend millions fair i just i felt like i reached a certain amount of money and then no matter what I did, I was always bringing in as much money as I was spending because there was only so much you could spend on any given day at Scrooge's shop because you could only buy 25 items. So it's like my money just never really depleted after a certain point. And um, yeah, that's just kind of kind of how it was. Uh, I might pop this. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, this footprint of this house is not the greatest. You can't get very close to it. So we'll have to try to just work with what we have. Mm. I wonder if you could drop items closer. Sometimes you can drop items closer than you can place them. I don't know. Nails, hello, hello. Do we get to buy a thousand items a day? Yeah, they increased it from a 25 item per day cap to 1000 items per day, which is truly astonishing. What other foliage things do we have? Uh, I don't think I want to use those. I want like a potted plant of some sort, but I'm trying to think. Oh, we have these. Mmm. Oh, this is going to be such a pain to decorate when I actually am trying to do that. Um. Wow. 
what if we go for a more natural looking bush smaller um like this maybe Earlier in the chat, you said you feel that the flower garden would look beautiful with this house. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, got to fill out the space over here. Hmm, I feel like if we use one, we need a manicured item. We can't use. Maybe I'll just pop that there. Can this go closer? No, it can't. I feel like the trellis might look nice around here. What am I trying to get? One of these. Or even if we pop the well back here, I think we will see a little bit of this in the dream snap. Let me see. You're finally catching me live. You love the content. Thank you so much. I'm happy you're able to be here. Today's a bit of an odd... Um, and on, I've been saying that every time. I think I just need to accept the fact that I've somehow become more chaotic. And that's just the way it's going to be for now. Um, but it feels like a bit of a more chaotic stream today. Yeah. Is what it is. Okay, yes, I like this back here. I need something here, but nothing like... I don't know, something with a little bit of height just to take up that space. This is fine here. I don't mind this. I might move some of the flowers over here, though. This flower here needs to move back if I want it in the frame. Um, Maybe we should move this well up here so we see part of it here. Let's try that. Hopefully Gameloft will let us have furniture close to the buildings and fix the items where they line up with each other. Well, there are it's so strange because it really just depends on the house. There are some buildings where you can literally place items on it, like this haunted mansion. I could put something right here. Um, oh, wait, they changed it. Wait. Whoa. No, I'm mostly so sure that I didn't make this up. We used to be able to place items here. Can you do it on the other one? Was it only on the before Christmas one? We used to be able to place items on this. Because I had like a bench on it at one point in time. That is so strange that they changed that. Ooh, that makes me upset. I wonder why they did it. What would it have been hurting? That's a bit of a bummer. Okay, well, you're now in the picture. So if anybody had things there, did it just delete it for you? I had deconstructed my valley before the update, so I, I don't know what happened if you had things there. What about the flower arch from the star path? I haven't unlocked that yet, actually. I'm not really um, on top of my game with the star path this time around. That's so weird that they changed it. It was in their hotfix notes. Wait, really? Hmm. You had items on it and they moved after the update. Your entire house was moved? Oh, weird. Yeah, I hope they changed that back. I wonder why they would have done that. Very, very strange indeed. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> this meadow grass is different. This used to be purple. And I'm like pulling more out, seeing if we get a purple one, but I don't see a purple one coming out. Whoa, weird things that I didn't know they changed. I don't hate this, but why? Huh. Are they going to give us a purple one? Because I kind of liked it. 
I'm seeing if maybe it went somewhere else. No, this is the same as it used to be. The two variants, or, well, two, like, type variants, but multiple sizes of this. How odd. Let me see if they added a purple one somewhere, like, down at the bottom. No, they just took it away from us. Hmm. Hmm. Hi, Haley. How are you? They changed the Blossom, too. I know they changed something about it because it was rotated when I opened my game, but I didn't have anything around it, so I don't know exactly what they changed. Um, I feel like... What does this actually match? Maybe nothing. I guess it doesn't have to match specifically, but... Very strange. Okay, let me get rid of this. You kind of like the grass? I like this grass, but I also liked the purple grass, so I wish they would have just given us this one as well instead of changing the other one. You know? They changed to where you can't have the homey rug on a mud path, and it changed up uh, your eternity aisle. I think I heard something about that. But I don't think I really used that one. Oh, the entire reason I did that was because I was trying to pull out some grass to see if I could fit it there. Uh, I could use this one. That can go through things. I don't know if I want to, but we'll pop it there for now. Would I recommend to first unlock all the biomes or unlock biomes and realms together alternating? Um, I feel like it's really one of those things that you can do whichever you prefer and it's not going to negatively impact your game. If there's ever something that you need to do, the game will tell you in quests, like specifically what to unlock to progress. But I think I mostly did all of the realms when I was playing and then went back and unlocked the biomes, but I really can't remember. They also changed bush clusters back after making those big ugly rectangles. Wait, I don't know what you mean. Can't have it both ways, but why not? <laughs> but why can't I if I want it both ways? That's just rude. Um, I put this this way, like a little walkway to the bush. Actually, that feels dramatic. Um, cancel, undo, undo, undo. Maybe rocks instead. I feel like rocks are always the answer to everything. It's so funny, the things they do and don't change. The checkered board is still pink. Yeah, why? <laughs> the neon pink board that they gave us for some reason is so strange. And it's like, great, like, I don't know. I try not to hate on the people who work on Dreamlight Valley too much. Like, I try to keep things as constructive criticism or, like, recommendations from my perspective, but... I feel like there are a lot of bugs and issues in the game, so changing the color of a grass feels like maybe it shouldn't be that high up on the priority list, but maybe that's just me. I'm not trying to be shady about it, just like feels like an odd choice. You thought the purple was weird before? I liked the purple. I thought it looked really nice in the meadow. Or not the meadow. I thought it looked really nice in the glade. I did end up using it um, in the forest a bit too. It was nice to have a bit of versatility, especially since we have purple bushes. Like, it's nice to have the purple grass to make the bushes blend a little bit more and make sense, I guess. I'm going to pop this here. Simply Shay, hello. How are you? Can I do a fairy core speed build and post it? I don't know. I am getting into decorating again. We're going to do some. Oh, my goodness. It's been almost an hour of stream. Well, the intention is to work on some decorating after we finish the stream snap. Um, But I'm mostly hanging over. Well, actually, I'm mostly decorating over on Eternity Isle first. 
but part of the lagoon is eventually going to be sort of fairy core ish um and i do want to start posting speed builds when i decorate areas i've just never done one before so i'm not sure how it's gonna go Ooh, a giant tree go for it why not They changed the rock on the, oh, on the bush cluster. Wait, really? Yeah, it used to be vertical, like standing up. Is it down here? I use it all the time. You would think I know where it lives. Um, It might be under bushes. Yeah. Oh, they did. You're so right. Wait, I kind of liked the, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I like both of them, so I don't care. I'm not that bothered, but I didn't mind the one with the standing rock. I thought that was kind of cool. It was giving like, uh, I don't know, druid circle vibes or something. Anyone have any advice to decorating Vanellope's racetrack? Cause you're getting stressed. I've never done a racetrack for Vanellope, so I do not have any suggestions, but maybe someone else in chat does. Okay, if I move the path back, I don't like this one area here. I might be able to flip this fa uh, flower bed and put it in line with the path, and that might help a little bit, but I don't hate this. The turtle a little bit blends in with the house, but I don't know that I care that much. I'm doing great, Shay. Thank you so much. A little bit flustered finding out weird things that were changed in Dreamlight Valley and simultaneously working on this stream snap when my uh, attention span is not what it what it usually is. But uh, <laughs> such is life. <laughs> oh, thank you for the sip reminder, Kitty. They could have changed the color of the grass by accident. That's so true. Uh, that's also true. Um, part of me also wants a light, but I don't want to move my character to turn it on. So I think I'm just gonna, we're just gonna rock with the midday lighting, I think. Christian, hello, hello. You still got 4k moonstones? Congratulations. That's fabulous. Okay. Let's grab our cute little turtle. I like this better, but I want to move it forward now. Sometimes I'm so like oddly picky about things that I don't know. Probably no one else cares about, but it just makes me feel a little bit better. You saw someone use touch of magic rugs to make a racetrack. I have seen people do that, like make roads or racetracks. Yes, with touch of magic and it always looks so fun i would love to do a city core build with rug roads but i'm so nervous to use touch of magic anywhere in my valley because i know i would forget to delete it when i'm working on dream snaps and then i would just have a really difficult time i need to turn my character a little more forward i think um then i would have a really difficult time with submitting dream snaps uh can you turn just like a little bit Wait, I can do this easier with the camera. I don't know why I was making it difficult on myself. Um, yeah. There we go. There we go. You wish they would make bush clusters for more biomes. Oh, agreed. They're so easy and also nice to decorate with. I really, really like them. Okay. Does the turtle want to look in this direction? Not really. Do I want to look at the turtle? Okay, there we go. I feel like, okay, I just <laughs> I just had to double check because I had this horrible uh, pit in my stomach. Like it wasn't going to have the appropriate tags anymore, even though I changed to nothing. Um, okay, picture submitted. Let me save this. And I think this is what we're go going to go with, at least for now. 
You were gutted when you logged on. Turns out you never submitted your dream snap last week. Oh no. Yeah, that would be difficult. I remember there was one week I didn't submit a dream snap and I felt like, oh no, <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I like it. I don't know that it'll do particularly well because it's an outfit challenge and you can't see my whole outfit. But I feel like the vibe of the turtle is the vibe of this picture and I'm happy with that one at least. Thank you so much, Lucy. You're working on yours too, Giddy. Which uh, critter did you decide to go with? You liked the purple, but there isn't any of it in the meadow. Oh, before, so you felt it should have been Forgotten Lands Grass. Yeah, I don't really pay attention too much to what it's called. I was just using it wherever I wanted to. Um, I'm going to change back into the cute outfit we were wearing before. And we're going to go do some decorating on Eternity Isle, I think, which I'm really excited about. I love decorating so much. Um, I think we're going to have a blast. I've been waiting to get back to it. It's been a while. Mm, jeans. You relate to the turtle in that pic? Wait, what about it? That's all that matters. Yeah, I feel like sometimes with dream snaps, I just do whatever feels nice to me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not like a huge min maxer for dream snaps. Like if I like the picture and I think it suits the vibe enough, like that's what we're going with. If I'm happy with it, that's, I guess, the most important thing. Uh, the turtle can actually let me switch to the one of the birds because they're new and it might be fun to have it flying around with us for a little bit. You spent ages creating and decorating a cottage village in the lagoon today. Oh, cute. Yeah, I really want to decorate my little cottage village. It's going to be up here. Um, ignore the fact that this is still here. The mansion. Everything on my main valley is still fully in mess mode. This is going to be our little cottage village eventually. Once we decorate it, I think it's going to be super cute because I already love it. And it's just the houses, <laughs> just the houses placed. But uh, yeah, it's going to be great eventually but i need to rework a bunch of stuff in the main valley once we get more premium shop houses so for now that's just major mess vibes how do you get cumin it's on the aisle in the ancient's landing actually i want to go to ancient's landing really quick bear with me i just want to look at the grass and see if it matches this area um and the cumin looks like little white flowers Let's see if I can find some. Life's full of like this. Choices. So not actually little flowers, but they're large flowers. Wait, look at the turtle again. Oh, fair. I like that vibe. It's a good vibe. You're going with a fox because you want to sit on the blankie. Nice. You know what I haven't? used really well i haven't used any of the stuff from the starlight house bundle but the blanket with the pillows that's just a reskin of the tangled one i still want to decorate with that somewhere it's very pretty yeah i feel like this kind of matches really well in ancient's landing the new meadow grass okay You're working on your dream snap as well, doing the eclair squirrel. Oh, cute. In a picnic set up with a bunch of cooked d desserts. That'll be a lot of fun. I really like that squirrel. I always look at it and I don't know what it's actually meant to be, but it's very cute. What is this? Oh, I think this was here. Maybe I didn't have room in my inventory and I tried to pick stuff up with the vacuum. So I want to keep working on the glittering dunes because that's what we've started so far. Let me pick up some of this stuff and we have options for what we can work on today. I have this whole entry area, which I want to keep very natural. I'm probably going to use a bunch of these sand fountains and some trees, maybe have like a pathway leading through it. But I want to move Goofy over here. 
with Gaston, and this is going to be our market area. Which is going to be a good time. So I still have to decorate this area. And then up here is going to be, I moved these fruit trees and bushes up here. And I want to just decorate it out a little bit more. And this is going to be like our dunes orchard area. You went with a spring core theme. You're pleased how yours turned out. Nice. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, those little um, bunnies from the egg event last year. Those might be a cute one to base a dream snap off of for this theme. Just very bright springtime colors. The cute, colorful bunnies. You're waiting on the bakery and the star path items. The bakery looks so cute. I definitely want to throw that in with like um, Remy's and the restaurant. I think that would be nice. Hi, Banjo. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you, kitty. You might dual fox it up since you couldn't resist a dog in a backpack. The fox is so cute. Yeah, it would be nice to have it in a dream snap, but I feel like it would be difficult to get an angle on it for a an outfit challenge. That being said, I just held a whole turtle in front of my entire torso for my outfit challenge. But to really get the fox, I feel like it would be difficult to see like you and the fox. Isn't the squirrel supposed to be meringue, like a toasted meringue? I don't know. I mean, it seems like yes, but the thing is, I don't know. It came with the park star path. So I was trying to think if there was any dessert in the parks that looked like that, and I couldn't think of one specifically. You're using the starlight bundle in yours right now, doing a sleepover vibe with Rapunzel using a fox. Oh, nice. That's cute. Okay. Hourglass. Oh, we can also finally delete these sand dunes now. Let me actually check in furniture mode. I haven't found them in the menu yet, but I haven't looked for them. But imagine me being able to delete them and get them back. Uh, It doesn't look like... They're under underbrush. Are they under rocks? Oh, they are. So we have the regular ones. Which actually, do I have any of these? Did we have any of these before? If we did, I definitely deleted it. You love the fox backpack. It's so cute. I love it. And then we have the one with the uh, cacti. Okay. Sorry, I was just having a moment of, a moment of even though we have these feeling panicked about deleting them, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. You only started playing in January and you're sad you couldn't craft the spring stall for the farmers market area. You're hoping it comes back this year. Um the event with the eggs that I think is how you get what you need to craft that spring stall. Um, that event is coming back, so you should be able to craft that this year. I don't know the exact dates, but I'm sure someone in chat does. I think it's been announced. I just do not remember. Um, let me get rid of this. I think we're going to work on this area up here and maybe this area down here. Oh, no, let me clear that away. You're currently playing Disney Speedstorm. I was playing Speedstorm right before stream. I was getting caught up on the season tour, which I actually am first time in probably almost a year, which I know is when the game first dropped in early access, but I stand by it. Um, okay. I'm going to move this crafting table down here. I want to leave it for now because... I want a place to craft if I need things for decorating. Also, actually, I should probably find a place to put one long term. Maybe down in the shopping center would make sense. And a place to cook. I feel like I could get away with both of those. Um, 
not a stove, maybe a campfire. I mean, it's a desert, so it's hot down here, but what else am I going to use? Does this barbecue actually work? The event comes back on the 27th. Okay, thank you. No, it doesn't. Okay, that is a missed opportunity. They should have let us cook on this barbecue. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this here as well to remind myself to use it. I think I'm going to start up in this area. So my vision is sort of winding kind of path leading from here all the way up to here. Oh, wait. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, from here up to here. Uh, yes, as though it's a nice desert market in the shadow of this beautiful palace. I don't know. Like a squirrel Dole Whip? I don't know, because Dole Whip is like pineapple soft serve sort of thing. It's your first time playing on Switch and it's actually quite nice controls on Switch. Wait, really? I actually have never been able to play Speedstorm on Switch, even though I have it. I feel like it's really difficult on Switch for me. I don't know why, but that's the way I feel. I think we're going to bring some of these. No, maybe smaller ones. Maybe one large tree. In the corner, perhaps we'll bring some small trees up here. How did my dream snaps do this week? My dream snap did well. I got 4000 moonstones, which was fabulous, lovely, especially because the shop was so expensive this week. We didn't even talk about that. It was like 10,000 moonstones worth of shop items. Oh my goodness. Starting to get a little expensive. Are these facing the same way? I don't think so. But yes, I was very happy about that. You just got Minnie's Clock Tower quest. Oh no. Time to take a friend to the Glade and start digging for your life. This tree is way bigger than I want it to be. What other trees do we have? Hmm. These, these are smaller, but the footprint is gigantic. I might be able to use one like back here or something. Oh, you were saying what they should have done for that star path. I got you. I got you. I do think that the squirrel is very cute. I do really like it. I just don't know what it is. These are very giant too, so I'm not going to be able to fit these. This area is a lot smaller than I, like my brain accepts that it is. I kind of want to do, let me see if I can figure out what kind of pathway I want to use here. Because I also want to bring this path this way, I think. Um, And placing that might be nice. Uh, we could do a natural rock, although I don't think I want this. Um, what we could do... Unbaked earthen road. This one might be nice. I don't want this one. We also have these. We could just do a makeshift path with these. Ooh, what are we thinking? What do we feel? I could also potentially... No, cancel. 
These can also be layered, which is interesting. If I did that, though, I think I would want to use the one without the without the border. Hmm. Let's pop down. Hi, Courtney and Alyssa. Hello. How are you? What should you do for your critter outfit challenge? Well, do you have a critter you think you want to use? I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do this one. I think so. Not Sully doing his little tippy toes dive exercise right in the middle of your picnic blanket photo shoot. Oh, no. Did you remove his map permissions? I might use these up here, though. I think that might be nice. Remove this. Remove this. Move this. Uh, you pop over there and I might actually just remove all of this, too, because with the weird way that things have been. Being with. Uh, Placing the paths, I think it would be more effort than it's worth trying to work with that. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this here. Not really, it's so hard. Well, do you have a favorite critter? Okay. Might separate some of these a little bit. Give some space in between them. Maybe something like that? You like that might steal? No worries. You all are always welcome to steal or be inspired by whatever I'm doing. <laughs> uh, if it's if it ends up worthy of that, by all means. It's just a bit of a mess in like along the way. Yeah, I think this is going to be cute if I add that little clay path. Sun-baked earthen road. Uh, do I want it to take up the entire thing? It's kind of going to have to. Hmm. We'll see how that works. Oh, no. I don't want it to take up the whole thing. Oh, well. I might have to move these trees. A little bit. Because I really don't like that it's not even. That's one of my biggest pet peeves with things in Dreamlight Valley. When it doesn't line up right. You can't wait to check your dream snap after work. Mine did pretty well. I got 4,000 moonstones this week, which was very nice. Always a welcome... Um, a welcome surprise, if you will. Mm. Especially when it's a bit of an expensive week in the premium shop. It's very nice to be like, OK, well, yes, I spent 10,000 moonstones, but at least uh, I got 4000 back. Maybe we'll also make this kind of jacket. That might be a vibe. And that might actually be a nice way to not care as much about the fact that it's not um, perfectly centered. Uh, 
anyone know if the fox moves in the backpack? It does. I'm rocking the backpack right now. And the fox bops his head around a little bit, scratches his face. He's very, very cute. I really hope they give us more of these, honestly, in the future. I think it's a really nice nice addition especially because like when you're running around you're always seeing your back so like a cute little backpack accessory is a lot of fun okay yeah i think i like this and i think i'm gonna bring some palm trees in maybe i might get rid of this tall tree in the back let me see how it looks from down here sticks out his tongue he does Hmm, or maybe I'll just move that one a little bit. Yeah, the fox is absolutely adorable. I, wait, which critter would I love to see in the backpack? I'm trying to think now, which one would be cute? Put Pua in a backpack, Start. stop. Okay, petition to put Pua in a backpack, please. With his little piggy face just sticking out. Oh my goodness, I would die from cuteness. Um, yeah, that's my desire, actually. No more conversations need to be had about that. It's, it's just, it's just Pua. Me yelling that, I'm sorry. I just felt it so strongly <laughs> that I couldn't, I couldn't hold it in. It just came into my brain and I said, absolutely, that, 100%. Um, what do I need? No, I'm not going to be able to use more of these, actually. No. I do need to leave access to that rock, so let me do my handy dandy. Uh, let's grab this Sunlit Plateau rock and this Dazzle Beach rock. And we'll place those there so I can't obstruct my... My access to this. The crocodiles are your favorite? The crocodiles are really cute. I wonder how they would look in a backpack. Probably adorable. Okay, I need... Actually... No, that's one of the water rocks. Um... I'm not really 100% against... Having some rocks interspersed around here. Might end up being nice. One of the Aristocats. I would love to have the Aristocats, but the thing is, I feel like I would need to have the three of them as a trio following me around. I wouldn't want it to just be one of them as a companion. Like, the companion would be the three of them, and they would all just, like, paddle after you. And it would be pretty much the sweetest thing in existence. Let me grab... Uh, hmm. Oh, I think I don't like the green on this. Yeah, I don't like those leaves. The color is very... I don't know. It's very something that I'm not 100% a fan of. There we go. Your only problem about playing Speedstorm on your Switch is that you have stick drift oh understandable that would make it very difficult i feel like for me it's just the location of the sticks on the joy con make it weird um and the switch controller that i have the is it the switch pro controller or something i feel like it's too big for my hands it's a weird shape that doesn't really jive I want to put one of these like close ish to the edge, but I think I need one of the different palm trees that has a different footprint. You can go there though. The capybara are your favorite IRL and in game. Capybaras are pretty cute. I don't think I've really ever had one following me around in game though. 
Why do these have the largest footprint known to man? There we go. All three in a backpack. That would be pretty cute. I think I'd be here for it. How's the snap? Um, we finished up the dream snap and I think it looks pretty good. I can pull it up in a second. And we moved on to decorating, which is nice because I've wanted to do some decorating um, for a while and we just haven't had time with the update. But now we can get back to it a little bit. Uh, current challenge. This is the dream snap that we came up with going off of the cute turtle from the star path. And I like it. I think it's nice. Had the tangled one follow me around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The day of the update, I did have the tangled one follow me around. Um, actually, it might have been the first couple streams of that update until I got the robot. But the robot just can't really be beat, if you ask me. So that's usually my go to. I just switch it up when we get something new. Uh... Something like this. Yeah. I don't need this to be like super, super dense, but I want it to look like the trees and bushes for foraging aren't the only thing up here. So I do want to fill it in a bit. No worries, Banjo. Thank you so much for coming to the stream, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I don't know if I want to use this. Uh, I can't even see it where I put it, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to grab a couple of these and place them out here, and maybe I'll use them, maybe I won't, but I kind of want to go back into the tree menu. And look there. Ooh, wait. Some of these are pretty cute. They don't really make a whole lot of sense, but... Honestly, what does? There we go. Your snakes love to chill in a hoodie pocket. That would be a cool game feature. I could see them adding the ability for the snakes to actually just like stay around your neck as you run around. That might be kind of cool. I don't really use them like that, but it would be a pretty neat feature. Okay. And then trees. No, that's underbrush again. My heart just knows that I, I love <laughs> I love a bush to decorate with. So it was like, oh, I know you said tree, but what you meant was bush, right? No, girl, I did not mean bush. Put that there. Um, maybe put that there? Nope, too far forward. Maybe I should bring in some of the beach ones, actually, to just switch the color up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Let me run through this. Your dream snap is done, Tiny Panda. Amazing. Uh, brick for your dream snap, you're going to match up with the rabbit in a top hat from the Centennial Star Path. I thought about that for a minute. I think that one's super cute. 
I'm sure it's going to turn out really well. I like this. I do. What? <laughs> I'm holding my mouse still. <laughs> and this cactus is jumping around. Maybe I have some stick drift on my controller. I wonder if that's it. No, because it's doing it even when it's just my mouse. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, go there, go there. Go there. <laughs> you hate when they do that? Oh, no, it does it for you, too. Okay, okay. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Oh, it's a glitch. Yeah, I've never had that one before. That was a weird one. Turn this this way, I think. And... Oh, yeah, weird. Yeah, that's never happened to me before today. At least I don't think it has. I feel that I would have remembered this. Let me grab a rock. Oh, it's new. Interesting. Anyone else not get their dream snaps results till late in the day since the update? I've heard a few people say that I have. But I also know that sometimes if you completely like close out your game and open it again, you might see your results faster. Or at least your results might pop up. There, we'll pop that there and... I don't know, maybe... That there. Oh, a fern. I haven't used any of those. That might work. Oh, that one's not one of the ones that likes to play nice. Actually, none of these want to. OK, interesting. What about some of the sunlit plateau grass, but the really small baby one? The really tiny one. There we go. And delete these. There we go. Only those items and the other cacti. Oh, interesting. You got 4,000 this week and you got the on a dream style and the pink castle. Do you love them? I'm a big, big fan of the pink castle. I think it'll be really cute to decorate with. Okay, I think I like this. I might try to pop something back here, like a cactus or something. That was my controller connecting. Sorry, you could hear the little doo-doo-doo. Um, like one of these ones again? And maybe... Oh, we haven't used these ones. Maybe one of these. There we go. Your says processing still. You'll have to check late tonight. You had to get on and buy the little fox backpack. Oh, yeah. Even if I'm not actively playing right away, which I don't usually on um, Wednesdays play right away, I always log on to see what's in the premium shop because I want to know. I want to know ASAP. Your says processing still. You have to check late tonight. Oh, wait, wait. I already read that. Um, Anna is adorable in her climbing gear. I do, I do think she looks cute. It's a cute dream style. Okay. Fabulous, fabulous. I need to do something right here. I might try to connect this down a little bit. Let's see if we can do that. That might be weird with the paths. Hmm. Is there a world in which we turn these? Maybe. Uh, it's a little strange, but. A little 
odd, but I think we can put up with it. You also got 4,000 moonstones this week, but you're so moonstone poor after the star path, so you've only gotten on his dream style as of now, but you really want the castle. Fair. The nice thing is that I'm sure the castle will be back. So if you have to wait for a while to get it, should be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That yeah, yeah, yeah sounded like the least convinced thing. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Uh, we, we can make this work. Oh my goodness. Uh, you have to decide where to move Fairy Godmother now because the pink castle looks so good in the forest. It does look good in the forest. I'm not sure where I'm going to leave it. Uh, long term, I kind of want to put it in the glade. But I don't know. Uh, let me not put that there. I remember when I first heard about this new pathing decorating change. I was like, oh, it's not going to be that bad. I think Kitty told me about it. Um, And now here I am mere days later and I already wish it was normal. Okay, cancel. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you for liking the stream. If you all have already, I appreciate it so much. It means a lot to me. Okay, we got that. And there. Let's see how that is. What's the consensus for old star path items returning? Wait, what do you mean? Like, what are everyone's opinions about it? Or do we know about when it's happening? Or how do you mean? I kind of want to pop some palm trees up here. You believe you ranted at me about it? I think you did as well. And I was like, oh, that's a little bit of like annoying but it'll be fine um spoiler alert it was not fine and it's extremely annoying that's how i feel about it anyway pop this here maybe I want another one of these this way. I don't know. I kind of a little bit do. But I also kind of just want a tallish. Oh, I forgot. These have the worst footprint. And for what? The other two have like a one tile footprint. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. The star path is complete on your main save already? That's amazing. She's fine. I might grab a little cactus and pop her somewhere. By a little cactus, I mean a large cactus. <laughs> oh no. Uh, can you pop into a spot where I can drop you, please? There we go. Okay. We good. And... I don't know. Any chance we can get a fern to fit here somewhere? Oh, right there. Oh, and right there. Well, hey. Isn't that just the best thing since sliced bread? Um, opinions on the items returning. I think it's something that a lot of people are really, really happy about because they weren't able to get Starpath items, like certain items. 
So I'm very, very happy for them. I wish there had been more clarity. Well, not even more clarity. That's a little bit gracious. Um, I wish that the devs had told us that was a possibility before instead of actively telling us the opposite. Um, yeah, because they marketed the early access star paths as being exclusive to founders and said that star path items would never be returning. So that like rubs me the wrong way. But I'm very excited for everybody to be getting items that they've been longing for and seeing what they do with all of the decorating with it. I think that's going to be amazing. So very, very excited about that. I think I like this area now. I wonder if I should actually do the same sort of a pathway down here. I might. Let me grab out some tents and things. Hi, Allie. How are you? You keep getting on the past few days to grind the star path, but then you're like, I'll just do a little decorating in two hours have gone by and you've done one star path duty. I feel like, yeah, the star path is nice because you can kind of put it off. Like, yes, it's timed, but we have over 40 days left still, I think. So you have plenty of time. And I just love decorating so much that I do the same thing. I'll pop on and be like, yeah, I'm going to get so much stuff done. And you know what I get done? Decorating. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, where do I want to put these? I want to have a bunch of stalls. Uh, I also want this. I want this. Is there anything else that needs to go over here that's not... Hmm, I'm trying to think. This is a mess. Wow. Uh, I don't think so. We don't have, like, a garden. The boat only goes in the water. Well, obviously deck it out with like crates and items not items <laughs> the least specific thing i could possibly say crates and items um oh i want to use these i probably want to use these somewhere let me pop these over here The decorating always turns out so good, though. Oh, thank you. It's quite, quite the process. Um, and we want to make sure this is accessible, too. Let me pop out a few. I wish there was a filter for Eternity Isle items, you know? Maybe they'll add that eventually when we get more DLCs, kind of like we have the Star Path filters now. I just think that would be really, really helpful. So I'll put these there. Do I need to be able to get down here? Undecided, but we can try. And I do need to be able to get to the well. The only thing that annoys you about star path items returning is that we had to grind for those. Now people can just buy them. I mean, on the other hand, I feel like that is one thing that like is kind of nice adding star path items to the premium shop means that probably well i think this only really applies if they add a separate section to the premium shop for old star path items or if they consistently have two pages worth of items it could potentially generate more moonstone sales to give them more money to continue the game without me having to buy moonstone <laughs> So that's fine. I can't complain about that, but uh, I feel like that a little bit remains to be seen. Okay, I want to do... yes. Have that there. Maybe we'll pop this right here. Maybe we'll bring the fire pit over here and do like a little cooking moment and have Gaston's meat thing right next to it. Maybe. I don't know. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Hi, Fire Angel. How are you? Uh, doesn't give us much faith in Game Loft's word. That's, yeah, that's part of it. And especially after the whole free to play, not free to play thing. It's just like, it, like, <laughs> it just a little bit gives me we were rooting for you. We were all like, we were all rooting for you vibes. Like, uh, just don't make it difficult for me to like back you, you know? Like, I always try to be optimistic about things while also recognizing flaws and that kind of a situation. But after everyone being mad about free to play or at least the lack of transparency around that and then like also this, it's like <sighs> it's hard to be like, well, they told us they would do X, Y, Z because that doesn't hold as much weight anymore. Okay, I think I I want something and I don't know what it is. I might put this over here instead. Maybe. I don't know. I'm looking for a shape. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm looking for a shape and I need to find a way to get it to work. Can I put these here? We move you a little bit. Console and PC have higher storage. Wait, what? Can I do another video of interior designs for all the new houses? Oh, I'll definitely do a video of it once I decorate them. I just haven't decorated any of the new houses yet. So there's nothing to make a video on at this point in time, but I'll definitely get to it eventually. Decorating is kind of has kind of become my favorite thing in Dreamlight Valley. So I do want to be putting out more content about that. And it seems to be something that people enjoy. Like my Valley tour is my most watched video on my channel by a lot, like not even a little bit, like heaps and bounds the most. So yeah, once I get back into the swing of actually completing decorating projects, I do want to put them out there for people to see. It bugs you that we can't put anything on the small stall tables. Wait, really? I thought we could. It has boxes. Where are... Ooh, do I want a tent? Do I want a tent here? I need to think about it. Kind of feels like vibes. Wait. I know I didn't pull all of these out. Where did I put them? Oh, the item limit. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think I just saw something out of context. But yes, there are some consoles um, and the PC have increased item limits that you can turn on in settings, um, I believe under help. Uh, you can adjust it. And the, the team has said they're trying to also bring that to the Switch, but... Uh, they haven't given any word on when they think that will happen. Um, okay. I might actually move this up even more and maybe we'll slot Gaston's in there. And maybe do like a cooking space and a little seating area, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's you rewatching all the videos. OK, Katie, <laughs> thank you <laughs> for rewatching them so many times, giving me that algorithm love. I appreciate it. I might switch this one to a blue one. Oh, you know what I do want to do, actually? Let me pop all of these down here because I don't want to come back in here right now. Um, But I want to walk down on this level and see what we're working with. 
I know I'm not going to use all of those, but. Ooh, it's a little snug. I kind of want it to feel snug, though. You feel like you end up making a market area in almost every biome because you have no idea what to do with the space. Yeah, in every biome, I have a little area where I have Goofy's stall. I have a bit of storage and I have usually a place to cook, a place to craft, and it takes up some space. And I like it. Um, I think this is going to be cute. And I think I'm enjoying the flow so far. You're always looking at Valley Tours for inspo. I feel like I don't get to watch them as much as I want to. I talk about this on the channel pretty often. It's because like I always want to make sure if I'm building something like that, it's mostly my idea. And if it's not my idea, I know exactly where I got the inspiration from. So I'm not accidentally like posing something as my own. Um, so I don't watch as much Dreamlight Valley decorating as I would really like to um, because I just get worried about that. But eventually, eventually, I want to make it happen. Watching more content, that is. That made no sense. That made no sense. You love the black tents with the lights. I like the tents. I haven't looked at them super up close and personal. But uh, I want to do an area. I think currently I have it down... Yeah, down here, I want to have Buzz's R RV and a few tents uh, down here. This is going to be our little fairy core area. And then, yeah, Mirabelle down here. Up here, I have no idea what I'm going to put. Just a lot of empty space currently. Um, Is there anything else that should really be prioritized? in this space. I might actually move Goofy stall over here somewhere. Maybe there. Uh, like making a little Tudor style village and market in the forest, a wintry market in the Frosted Heights, a market at Ancient's Landing. You plan to make a larger bazaar like this in the dunes. I think it's so suited to it. It's a fun space to put something like that. Yeah, and then maybe I'll just, I don't know, decorate this with something and have the well here, perhaps. Mm, do I kind of want another little market section over there? I don't know. Or maybe I could put my crafting area over here. I almost want this to feel more like... snug and less spacious. But I feel like we can maybe accomplish that with the actual decorating and it doesn't have to be done through more stalls. Perhaps. While you're playing um, and while you need soothing tinker voice for naps. Oh, yeah. You have told me multiple times that you've woken up to me <laughs> from your naps. Uh... In Aladdin, it was snug, so you think it works. Yeah, that's kind of what I want. Like a super squished farmer's market sort of situation is what I have in mind. It's what I want. I wonder if... Wait, no, I don't have them in here anymore. I have them over here. 
any beginner decorating tips for those that struggle to have a vision? Um, any beginner decorating tips? I feel like the biggest thing I always say is to not put pressure on yourself unnecessarily because like, A, at the end of the day, it's a game, so it doesn't really matter too much. And B, decorating, I think for a lot of people is a really lengthy process. At least for me, I do so many things and then I decide I don't like them. And then I change it a lot and it like takes me a long time to have a concept and really finish it. So just be patient. And if you end up hating everything you decorate initially, that's OK. <laughs> um, and just keep keep moving things around. Keep trying different things until you find something that you like. Um, and then then go with that style. want something kind of fun in this corner I don't know I think this is gonna be fine I like actually the idea of having this here I'm still gonna leave a walkway here but I like having this covered I think um I'm gonna have to figure out what to fill all of these with and that's gonna be interesting oh actually maybe we could do one that's like a little crafting area where uh we could put the painting tables in there like a painting table and that could be our crafting station that might be nice Maybe a sand fountain wishing area over there. That's a good idea, too. Yeah, we'll make something work. Uh, I think I'm going to go through and actually try to map out the paths now. I might have to craft a bunch more of these. You often put on old bods when you go to sleep. Hope that's not creepy. I don't find it creepy. I find it a little bit interesting <laughs> that people don't find my voice too annoying, but I don't find it creepy. And I mean, I appreciate the views for sure. That's very nice. Lucy, thank you for answering that question. I was in decorating mode and didn't see it even a little bit. The sand fountain would look good. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to make that work. Try to do the sand fountain moment. Um, OK, this you come over here. Hmm. Maybe like this. It doesn't have to be totally connected because we're also going to have that uh, mud path underneath it. So this might work. Embrace the soothing tinker energy. I mean, sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> OK, yes, I think. Hopefully we can put stuff on top of these. I haven't really experimented with that too much. Actually, let me try. I mean, it's supposed to be a path, so I don't know why we wouldn't be able to. Uh, not rugs. Why is that the first thing I wanted to try? OK, yeah, like plants and things, because if we decide to, yeah, build it out a little bit, it'll be fine. I just didn't want to limit myself too much with what I could use. You always put on different YouTubers old live streams to fall asleep. Really? I um, listen to the same audiobook every night when I go to sleep. <laughs> I've probably listened to it like a thousand times because it's been years that I've done this. But um, yeah, I listen to the same audiobook every time I go to sleep. Uh, I think I might want to turn this. I don't know if it looks a little bit messy. That's actually really fine because we can cover a multitude of sins with the path that we're going to have in here.
You made a deck with them to overlook, or on the overlook, gotcha, gotcha. And the picnic blanket sat under them. Interesting. That's kind of cool, though. I bet you could do some really interesting things with that. Okay. We have this going through there. I might actually want to bring this more this way. Oops. Perhaps? What's the audiobook? I don't know that I'm ready to put myself that much on, like, on blast. I've probably talked about it before on stream, to be honest. Where do you get the wood path that I'm using from? It's uh, part of the DLC. You get to you can craft it. It's at the crafting table. Uh, I think it's crafted under furniture, even though it's under pathing when you're actually decorating. Let me check. Because there were a few things that are like that. I think it uses tropical wood furniture. Yeah, so to craft it, it's under furniture. This tropical wood floor. I'm going to make like 20 of these or maybe even 30 of them. But when you decorate, it's under paths. Emily, hello, hello from Australia. That's like as far away as possible, practically. Uh, you love the live streams. You rewatch them because you don't always catch them live. Understandable with the time difference, but I hope you're having a fabulous day. And thank you for watching the VODs, by the way. I really, really appreciate that. You look up speed builds and try to follow along. Oh, because of, some of them look so pretty. I did that once with... Um, what did I do that with? I did that with a touch of magic dress. I was trying to make a sleeping beauty touch of magic dress but i actually ended up just rage quitting because i think the person had um actually can i make this into an actual little square kind of a thing i think the person had made the video back when the game first came out and there had been some changes to touch of magic since then that made it impossible to recreate in the same way, the dress. So yeah, I got very upset and stopped trying. I don't want this to be a little bit messier. Something like that, perhaps. Mara, hello, how are you? How's your day going? Also, how did you do on Dream Snaps? Let me move this here. And let me see about actually doing a bit of a twofer here. Maybe. Speed builds stress you out. Wait, really? Any reason in particular? Also, touch of magic makes you so angry right now. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it can be a bit much. I almost wish they had given us another color of these, uh, whatchamacallums. Like a purple would be gorgeous. The purple would be so nice. I kind of feel like, is it an Encanto table that I'm thinking of? I kind of want to add like a table or a couple tables in here as well. Um, Encanto. This one's not bad. I think I might have been thinking of this one though. But these ones are kind of tiny. Okay. 
you put it on the slowest play speed. Oh yeah, I actually love um, the video playback speed customization on YouTube. It's so chef's kiss. Sometimes I will listen to, or like watch things at like two times speed and it's so nice because you get through it so much faster. Let me put this actually. Let's see. I don't know, here perhaps? And then maybe also like this way. We can pop this back a little further. I can, well, no, let me leave this here because I will forget to use a crafting table if I don't use that there. Just a thought, we need Moroccan rugs. We need so many new rugs. Yes, but those especially would be really nice for this kind of a build. You can make rugs in Touch of Magic, but it's like... Again, such a hassle for dream snaps and everything like that. Um, I can't tilt this anymore. Um, here. There we go. You hope everyone's having a great day. You're doing well. Just chilling while working. You logged on this morning, but the results were still pending. Oh, gotcha. So you'll wait till you're off and see what you got. Nice. I hope it went well. Yeah, the new pending thing is very, very interesting. Results have been taking their sweet time since that was introduced. I might end up actually deleting some of these once I go through and fill this with path, like the actual path. We'll see. I don't know. Let me just grab a pathway and we'll start doing this. There's a craftable plain wood table. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure I'll probably use some of those underneath the awning things. What are these actually called? I don't know. I can't remember, but um, I probably will use some of those just for the end. And I wanted something a little bit with a little bit more texture, a little bit more oomph. Oh, you know what song I have stuck in my head? And actually, it well, it's not even stuck in my... Well, it will be stuck in my head now that it popped in because once it's there, it's there forever. And it's so unfortunate because it's so sad. Um, Sandcastles by Beyonce. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, let me... Yes. We'll grab this. Pull this this way. This way. You need to do your dream snap. You wonder what the challenge is. Uh, the challenge is an outfit challenge inspired by a critter in the game. So it's kind of a fun challenge. Get a nice break from villains themes that we've had a lot of recently. I don't think that's the piece I wanted. I think that's the piece I wanted. Oh, no. Further out this way? You know what? We're just gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna do what we need to do with this path. And if I need to go back and delete some pieces, we'll do that. But being super precise is not something I'm gonna be able to do right now. You have Arabian Night stuck in your head. Um, is it perchance the one from the Broadway production of Aladdin? Because I hope it is. That one is so sick. Oh, that one is so good. It's so... <laughs> now I need to listen to that. Actually, thank you, because I think now that one's going to be in my head. 
Um, it's so good. Okay. Path there, path there. Beautiful. Hi, Travis. How are you? Rick, you have Prince Ali stuck in your head. Another good one. One song from the Aladdin Broadway show that I always get stuck in my head is High Adventure. It's by these side characters that are not present in the movie. But it's just so catchy. Do you have one jump ahead? Also good. Furniture unlocked small red market stall. Um, hello? Okay. It's not like I've been using it this entire time. Yes. Ooh, this is going to look so good when it's done. Well, I mean, I'm going to like it so much. I don't know. Good is a little bit subjective, but I feel like I'm going to really like it when it's finished. You're doing a Snow Queen vibe. Oh, nice. Keep up the good work so you can be inspired later. Oh, no. I mean, I'm going to be so happy when um, the Glittering Dunes is done. It's been a while since I had any area of my valley complete, so this will be a nice... A nice feeling. It's not going to be today. I don't think we're even going to finish this build today, but it will be at some point in the hopefully near future. Maybe next week we'll be able to finish the dunes. Mm, one more over. Yeah, that's fine. Well. Oh, no. Wait, I need to make more of this path. Who would have thought? OK. You keep getting the same new figurine found notification. Interesting. Is it like about the um, what's it called? What is it called? Scramble coin? Sun baked earthen road. Oh, I don't want that much. On a scale of 1 to 10, how annoyed am I by the pathing right now? Probably like a 6. Like, I don't want to yell at it, but it's significantly bothering me. Like, I've been doing it for long enough today that I feel like I'm just working around it, but it's really not my favorite. Were you at six? Yes. Oh, yes, scramble coin, and it's always 10 out of 15. Interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten that notification. Okay, this whole area is going to get paved, and then I might just... Oops. Well. We're going to try anyway. Like a mosquito bite? Uh... Yeah, I would say I'm about mosquito bite level frustrated with the pathing right now. That's not too far off base. Okay, cancel. Um, I'm not really going to pull that further this way for now because... I need to know if it's going to end up overlapping there. I don't want it to. There we go. Probably because I've completed the scramble coin duties. Oh, is it like a new bug that's been happening since the update? Because that definitely could be. Could be why. why I haven't gotten it anyway. Um, this way. Yes. Beautiful. Well, there we go. 
cool when I'm done with this. <laughs> when I'm done with this path. Oh, I'm gonna be so happy. It's gonna be jubilation. Yeah, I'm out this way. That's great. Fabulous. Uh, probably one more that way. And a little bit like so, maybe? I don't know. Come in there, though. And there we go. Beautiful. Oh, yes, it is new. What's one Disney movie that I want to see again? I mean, I frequently watch Disney movies. There aren't really any that I just like watch once and don't come back to if it's something that I like. I do really want to watch Wish again, though. I saw that when it was in theaters and I enjoyed it. So when it comes to Disney Plus, I want to watch that one again. No, I don't want that to connect there. So maybe I'll just have to bring this here. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Awesome. And we'll bring this here. This is probably the least entertaining thing to watch in the entire world. I'm so sorry. There is simply nothing I can do. <laughs> there is simply nothing I can do about the fact that the pathing now works in this way. Uh, it's It just is what it is. Did I hear about the new Moana movie coming out? I did, yes. There are two new Moana movies. They're doing Moana 2, which comes out this year. Um, but then there's also the live action Moana that I think comes out, I don't know, 2025 or 2026, something like that. I'm interested to see what they're both like. Oh, this can't go under the well. OK, that's fine. When is Wish coming to Disney Plus? I don't know. I do not know. I just figure it will eventually. It would be very strange if it just never did. Okay, pathway here. Oops. Oh, now this part is going to get a little hoopty doopty. Jubilation? I did think of that after I said jubilation, but that wasn't the reason why I said it. Okay. There. Beautiful, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. The pathing is annoying just watching me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry if me fighting with the paths is stressing anybody out. Hercules, you really need to see that again. Oh, I love Hercules. It's probably one of my top. Well. It's probably one of my top 10 Disney movies. I don't know. I haven't actually sat down and made that list before, but I feel like it would be in it. Um, I just love it so much. I want this there and I want this gone and this gone. And this brought over. Beautiful. Maybe. I don't know. It'll work. Your go to is Tangled. I do like Tangled quite a bit. There was a lot of grumbling happening when you were doing pathing earlier. Oh, no. Yeah, it's just, uh, uh, it's, <laughs> it's just not what it used to be. Okay, where do I want to put a little crafting area? I might put it in here. I think this could be cute. Um, I might even use 
the mildly offensive uh tangled banner if i can wait oh, 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 oh. um <laughs> i'm so sorry that was so annoying i can use this because we're in eternity isle now okay <laughs> Anyone know when Disney Plus Day is this year? I don't know what Disney Plus Day is. Yes. Okay. That's going to be brilliant. I love it. I love it. Um, and Inside Out 2 is coming out. I thought it was coming out in April, but I don't really know for sure. The excitement. I know. Well, it's because I was just talking about how annoyed I was that we have this beautiful item. I mean, it's like a mess, but it's it's so fun and we can only use it outside on Eternity Isle, which just feels. Wait, why can't I put this under here? Oh, <gasps> that is so rude. I can put this there. Can I put this under here? I can, but I can't get an angle because why would I be able to? Why, why, why? I might actually just put this sort of in the center and put some stuffs around it. Ooh, we could have like a little shaded seating area in one of these things potentially. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh, it's coming out in June. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You don't like Inside Out? I feel like I'm not like the biggest Inside Out stan. I do really like the I think I'm more of a fan of the message of the movie than I am of the movie itself. I'm not a hater of the movie like I would sit down and watch it. But it's definitely not a go to for me. Um, We have musical instruments we could put in one of the things we have this one. We also have a guitar from Coco, right? I'm just trying to think of things that we could put in stalls. You could have a little, uh, war like, clothing, hello, clothing area. Maybe we could do these barrel tables, potentially, for the eating area. I love the tangled stuff, can you tell? Um, this lamp is kind of cool. The spindle could go with clothing. These are very tall. So I'm probably not going to use those. Angled, what's that? Wait, what about angled? Looks amazing. Looked over and saw what I'm working on, and it's amazing. Thank you so much. It's very much a work in progress. It's kind of just the, um, what would I call it at this point in time? It's kind of just the scaffolding of a thing right now, but eventually, I believe in my heart, we can turn it into something nice. use a rug under some of these where's the other one? Oh, this is definitely something we could put on a table not you uh you i need to see and the loot piece too oh you're so right i actually need to grab that out now i think because if i don't grab it out now i will forget about it i don't know that i'm in love with this rug under here but we'll we'll leave it for the time being um loot piece Yes. Oh, it might not actually that be that bad when you're down running around. It might end up working out. I'm obviously going to put other stuff under here, kind of build it out a little bit, but that's going to be the vibe for the crafting station in this biome. Let me go into my home. You're not keen on most of the Pixar films. Wally is the exception. Wally is very cute. I love Wally. But also, to be fair, I probably wouldn't sit down and like watch Wally on a monthly basis. I enjoy it, but it's not like a go to for me to watch. You agree like you wouldn't sit down and rewatch it inside out? Yeah. Oh, angled in the game. Oh, the hay bed. The hay bed is a good one, too. Actually, let me pop up to maybe multiple of the fragments might be nice. We're going up here anyway. Um, let me look at the fragments quickly because I forget which ones we have. Uh, pictures, pictures, dime, wagon. Ooh, the Hercules vase might be a nice one. 
Hay bed might be nice. Okay. Out we go. Hi, Michelle. How are you? We need a loot piece. Your favorite Pixar film is Toy Story 2 because of Jesse and Bullseye. Toy Story 2 is so slay. It's wonderful. I really, really like it. Wait, it's not this. The loot piece, that's another thing, but it's a thing. Um, that didn't make any sense. This, yes. <laughs> it's another thing, but it's a thing. Oh no. Go back away. You're playing Dreamlight Valley while watching stream. Amazing. I hope you're having a great time. Anything else I need here? I don't think so. We could put some seeds up for sale. Hmm, some produce. We could cook some meals. Oh, hey, wait, why are you here? Um. Oh, I guess he has a quest for me. I was like, I don't remember granting you permissions to be here. A thing that is a thing. Yep, that's what I said. That is indeed what I said. Sigh. Sully. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me grab, um, not wardrobe. The Coco guitar as well before I forget. Yeah, maybe we'll grab a couple of those. Disney went through a phase of movies you're not too into. Good dinosaur turning red soul inside out in Toy Story 4. Interesting. Listen, I love turning red and I also love soul. I think they're so good. I really, really like them. Um, here's the thing. Yes, this sells raw meat. How? Uh, I'm wondering... I do want to do a little seating area over here. I'll figure out the layout later. Um, crafting area. Let's just focus on this section for now. I might actually move. No, if I move the tent thing, I'm going to have a hard time figuring out what will and won't fit there. Oops. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> what is happening? OK, I was pressing escape and it was still grabbing an item. Oh, no, that's one thing that's going to be a little bit annoying uh with this build I kind of want to use this somewhere maybe I'll use it on this blue one catching up on your PlayStation save nice yeah put that right there beautiful gorgeous brilliant You have one for spices in your bazaar. Nice. Uh, well, OK. Yeah, every time I click cancel, it just picks up something that's underneath the cancel button. That is so frustrating. Um. OK, I think I need to sit down and figure out what I want in all of these stalls. I think maybe this one back here would be kind of cute for like a little music area. So I'll probably pop these under here for now. I know I just said I was going to focus on the stall that I was working on, but it's me you're talking to. Should have known that was not likely to happen. Um, maybe under here we'll do a little clothing one or yeah, maybe I'll move this here. I think yes. This mirror won't go under there. What about you? OK, you will. Let me see if I can get a mirror that will fit under. The escape does that for you, too. It's very weird. I don't know what these bugs are that are happening. Um, Decor. Is this where other mirrors would live? Mannequins, since we can't put the actual ones out here. 
You knew I was about to say that soul and turning red was a goodie. It is. I mean, I respect people's opinions who don't like it. I very much respect that. I just don't understand. <laughs> I just can't relate. Uh, let me put some crates out because I'm sure I'm going to want to use these eventually. Let me grab. Oops. Yeah, the furniture mode is real weird right now. I don't know what's up. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to want some of these eventually. I'm definitely going to have a food section. We're going to have a lot of sections. Maybe a book section? Uh, I'm mostly looking for a mirror right now, but when I come across things, I'm going to want to use at least one of the little Mikeys, obviously. Um, I'm going to try to pull them out so I don't have to keep scrolling through here. Too bad you can't use mannequins outside. I know. Mannequins outside would be wonderful. Maybe a broom? Maybe a phonograph? I don't know. Barrels? Oh, I definitely don't have any lighting in this area. I should probably think about that. Maybe I'll do that after I filter through this decor section. Uh, The books I know how to find easily if I need them. Imagine that a book section. Listen, <laughs> listen. Low hanging fruit is all I have to say about that. <laughs> There's a messy pile of books. I know I got it on the first day of the update and it was actually perfection. I was so happy about it. Well, now I kind of want to use this. But I, I don't know. Uh, you can stay there. It's. I'll move it in a second. Uh, that's going to be under foliage if I decide to do a foliage area. Oh, the checkerboard. That's kind of fun. Uh, mannequins outside reminds you of I Am Legend. I've uh, witnessed parts of I Am Legend, but it was when I was a small child and it really. Uh... <laughs> traumatized me a little bit. I don't remember anything about it, and I don't plan to ever watch it again. That's just how I feel. Let me pull these out. And these flower boxes. Well, those will also be under foliage, so that's a little unnecessary. Uh, buckets. It's kind of a cute vibe. Thank you for coming to the stream, Alyssa. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, little photo thing. Dishes, perhaps? I don't know. That's like a place at a table, though. That would be a little weird. Um, the piston cup. Oh, wait, why would this be kind of slight to have here? Stop. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to move the camera. I'm not trying to place an item. Uh, actually. Maybe. Very maybe. This. Uh, we love a lamp. Actually, a lamp stall would be kind of iconic. I'm not going to lie. Um, it would be even more iconic if we did one with just the blue lamps from the Beauty and the Beast. Not the Beauty and the Beast. Well, Beauty and the Beast. The Little Mermaid collection. That would be really funny. Um, yes. I okay, am going to grab out these gift boxes. Ooh, snow globes. Those are a good one. Uh, coat hanger. Okay, well, I was trying to place you over here. There you go. Maybe another one. Uh, yeah, boat. Sure. The plants I will think about later, so I don't need to grab those. Balloons, I don't think I want those. Tea trolley might work. Disposable camera. I feel like actually 
this might work under there if we set it up right plant uh that's all under foliage we grabbed one of those oh the harps i need to go to the beauty and the beast collection after this why do i kind of want to use one of these um pianos are going to be too big there we go Ooh, scrolls love that Ooh, i wonder if we could actually fit like one of the potion shelf things under something need a few of these need this this is like the most chaotic uh decorating thing i've ever underwent undergone It's a little, a little wild, a little crazy. Um, oh, I forget this, ex uh, this gazebo exists. These gold things, candelabra, maybe, maybe these. Enchanted rose, wally boot. Yeah, why not? Maybe I should do a campfire outside instead of. Actually, can you actually cook on this? I don't think you can. Um, new, hello, hello. How are you? Um, gems, bread, clay jug. Yeah, there are so many things. Listen, we have so many options for things to use. I'm just scrolling through decor right now, pulling out a small number of of the items that are possibilities for us. Ooh, I kind of want to use this trellis. But maybe I can use that out here. Piles of crates. Yes, don't mind if I do. Also, stacks of crates. Well, yes. What have I been watching that's put Slay back in my vernacular? Um, nothing. I honestly could not tell you what did it. I wasn't watching anything that had it in it. Um... Did I listen to the Lemonade album recently? Yes, but that was like two days ago. So that wouldn't be at fault because Slay has been something that I've been saying regularly for weeks now. Let me exit out of here. We placed a lot of items. You can't cook on it? Oh, that's unfortunate. You know what I didn't see? A mirror. Uh, do we have any other mirrors? Maybe I'll still leave it out anyway. Uh, ye we'll oh, you know what we have? Um, the item from the Encanto collection, the little fabric rack. That would be good. Fabric something something. Wooden fabric display. Why will you not go under here? It will go in front, though. That might actually be kind of cute sort of block off an area in there maybe that's where we pop the spinning wheel and then we'll have like a little table or something i don't know we'll figure it out is what i'm saying we will indeed figure it out i want this in front though Because they put the ratchet banner on it. Oh, on the gazebo. You're right, you're right, you're right. The banner does a little bit. Not ruin it. That's a little strong, but it's not my favorite. Maybe we can just put the mirror in front to get the point across. Yeah, let me get rid of this one. Actually, where are those clay pots? Now that I think about it, I didn't see those anywhere. Can these go under here? They can. I'm probably going to want a couple of these. You can't put anything on them. Oh, I only have the one. That's unfortunate. Uh, actually. No, that doesn't fit. Um, uh, let me see what they're called. Now that I know you're not dangerous, you, you what do you mean now that you know I'm not dangerous? There are so many things out. There are so many things out. But the thing is, I'm probably going to use most of them. I think I probably have like 10 of these tables already. I'm making more anyway. Just let me be. Um, 
burlap bags. I don't remember coming across these. Let's make 10. Oh, lighting. That's what I was going to do. Painted wood tables. I don't remember these either. Uh, heavy wooden table. What do I need? Why did I come here? Oh, the clay things. Okay, let me make like 15 of these. I don't imagine I'll use all of them, but still. Supinder, hello, hello, how are you? What crafting table is that? This one? Yeah, thank you, Kitty. It's the painting table from the Tangled collection. You can get it from Scrooge's shop. It rotates through. It's very nice. I wish they gave us more items like this, like more things we can cook on, more things we can actually craft on, because I feel like it makes a big difference. Um, okay, out here, I need tables, jugs, and things. Um, the things was not very helpful. I have 21 of these tables now. I'm going to take out three of them. I might use them. I'm going to take out also three of these. And also three of these. Any chance that the things filter under brown? You know what? Do these, which I didn't see before. I think I missed them. Did I put out the sewing machine? I did not. That's from... Is that from the Cinderella collection? Let me grab out these coconuts. We have so many things. Yes. Come down here. Let me pop you there for now. Okay, but now I actually need to pay attention to lights. Lighting. Mm, let me turn it to nighttime. How did you not know you can craft on the painting table? Wait, that's the best thing about it. That's the best thing about it, in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to change it to nighttime. You have to do homework now. Oh, but you're going to stay. Well, thank you for lurking. I hope your homework goes well. Um, It's actually getting a bit late, so don't even need to turn it that much. Uh, Part of me wants to do fun colored lights. Part of me just wants to do basic lights. These almost feel too permanent. I almost feel like this would be something that's like set up regularly. It's not like a permanent fixture. Oh, let me pop this. Not you. Oh wait, yes you. I kind of want this too somewhere. Maybe back here. I don't know. I'm going to put it here for now. Um, My options are these ones. I don't think I want to do these. Actually, these torches might kind of work. Or these torches. But I think these ones look a little bit too beachy. So I don't think I want to do those. You just thought it was pretty. That makes it a million times better. Oh, yes. I put them usually everywhere because I love the fact that they actually work. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to use. Oh, wait, we also have these. These are the ones. These are the ones. I forgot we got lights with this uh, DLC. OK, let me change it back to daytime, though, actually. The two-headed torch is nice. It is, it is. If I turn it to daytime and I actually realize that I hate these Eternity Isle lights, I will probably use those torches. But I think we might be able to get these lights to work. Oh no. There. 
The aisle lights are cool. I like them. I think they're nice. Um, maybe there? There, perhaps? I have to move you back in again and try to make space for this. Pop. Hmm. Okay. And then maybe we'll do one right there and one right here. Uh, I don't really want to put there. So maybe there? Let's see. You love the DLC lights in the glade? Ooh, that would probably look really nice. Might put one over here too. The glade is so like, I don't know. I feel like it's strangely versatile. Like I wouldn't think you can do a lot of things with the glade, but you kind of can. I wish you could put this just a little bit closer to this. Might have to just go there. Perhaps. The camera quick shift out of furniture mode made you a little queasy. Oh no! I'm sorry. Okay, let me turn the time forward again. Yeah, I don't need it to be like the most illuminated thing to ever exist because I don't really play at night very often. But having some lights makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, wait, this is going to be <laughs> I think I'm just now realizing how big of a thing this is going to be to decorate. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to take some time. Oh, let me pop these harps under here, too, before I forget. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, oh, they won't go under here? <gasps> that is rude. They can go behind it, though, and we don't really have anything behind it, so for now I might just pop them back there. We might not use all of them. Oh, I didn't realize we had so many of these. Why do we have like five different variants of this harp? OK. Do water pumps exist in the desert? We have a well. We don't really need a water pump. This is also a fantasy world, so we don't really need to worry too much about uh, believability necessarily. Oh, the other thing I wanted to pull out was the pots. Hmm. Where are those? Where do they live? You don't understand why the harps wouldn't go under the gazebos and awnings. It's so weird. Yeah, there's very strange stuff that happens sometimes. Uh, I might be able to scroll all the way down to the bottom and find them. Uh, sort of where? Yes. Oh, I didn't have any. That's why they didn't show up. I think I used them all when I was decorating my Eternity Isle floor in my house. They can go, like, inside of each other. That's very strange. Okay, let's grab, like, six of each. That way they're here. You'd better hope a water pump exists or you're going to be thirsty. True. True. Hmm. I think I'm probably going to want to have like food stuff here. 
Although it would make more sense to have Goofy's place buy food stuff, wouldn't it? <laughs> the lone cactus flower. Listen, I didn't ask for it to be here, okay? <laughs> it just showed up. Uh, I might actually try to move Goofies over here. Maybe? And bring a different one over here. I might turn this this way, though. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? Walking through this archway and just seeing <laughs> Goofy's stall. Wait, what's the alternative though? I don't actually remember what it looked like without this. You like how it was just the one, the one cactus that grew? I don't know why it did that. Yeah, this is a little better. Maybe I'll just keep it sideways like it was. Oh, I can tuck it all the way back there. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. OK, and I hate ending stream in the middle of a build, but I know I'm not going to finish this today. I know it with everything in my being so i think we actually are gonna wrap up stream here but thank you all for hanging out with me while i worked on my dream snaps and got this sort of uh the the bones of this <laughs> of this situation settled wait wait what let me see if anybody else is playing right now and we can go and hang out with them for a little bit time a little got away from me with all the decorating. Um, let me also put a bit of music on. Uh, yeah, okay. Anybody playing Dreamlight Valley right now we can go and hang out with? I'm sorry, Kitty, I didn't mean to make you sad. Uh, yeah, multiple people are playing. Let's go see Sprout Sea Sprout. We haven't raided for a little bit. Oh, also one year of Cuttlefish. I think that might be her members. Or maybe her channel. She's playing Dreamlight Valley, working on Dream Snap, so please stop by and say hey if you have some time. If not, no worries. Um, I will be back for a member stream on Friday and then back for our regularly scheduled programming on Sunday, so I hope to see you either of those times. But take care of yourselves and I will see you all later. Goodbye, everybody.